Well, one of my, oops. What are the odds of that? That's the rear is basically done. Uh, I did go snag the old crusty fronts out of the shed. We got to strip the parts out of those. I think I'm going to do the same play over here though. Um, I'm going to dunk the doors on empty because they're lighter without the glass in. Glass is a heavy little bugger. Um, but I uh, should be able to kind of wing those doors around, get them on the hinges and lined up. Um, then we can pull them back off, uh, put the weather strip on, put the guts back in, and then throw them back on the rig. Um, so it's just easier to get things aligned in those hinges set first, uh, especially when the doors are a little bit lighter and you can kind of reach in and have a better grip. Um, so I think that is the plan next up. Uh, gonna have to reconfigure the garage um, and start snagging those front doors. Uh, first things first though, just gotta make some gaskets for the hinges. May bring you along, may not, probably not. We'll see. Um, and then yeah, we can start hanging those front doors and then it'll be kind of neat because that's really the last last major bit of body work to have it back together as a full. Obviously you can run it with the top off, but um, yeah, onward. So one other thing while I was waiting for those, that hinge rubber glue to set up or tack up, I guess, uh, through some, some of that blue transport wrap, basically on the edges where you're going to bang the door around if, if there is a chance of doing it. So it's just a little bit easier. Um, I've got it. Might as well use it. Helps kind of correct some of those assembly dings, but otherwise should be good to go. I'm going to snag a couple hinge pins out of the bucket. Uh, the hinges are all tacked on. I think we're good to go here. This is the passenger door that is the passenger side. So we'll get you guys in the rack and see if we can dunk that guy on there. Well, so got her hung in there pretty good. Um, got a nice straight gap kind of coming down. And the lower is sitting pretty good as well. Uh, those hinges are pretty darn snug. I did figure out why that top one was fighting me. Uh, I threw the other one in the bucket. Um, but it's bent. Um, not sure how. Definitely didn't bend it with a little bit of tappy tappy we did there. Uh, but yeah, it was just darn crooked. So. That one's just going to go into the uh, pile of parts because it's not good. I've got spares, so no biggie, but definitely one of those ones where something's not working right. There's probably something else going on. Um, we'll see. Hopefully we can snug those back out and take the doors back off. Um, but yeah, there's, there's one kind of hung. Um, not too shabby. Alrighty, another day. Um, did a little looking around last night. Um, I think we can put the weather strip on the on the doors, hang them on the rig, and then work on getting the hardware transferred. It's kind of a, do you want to do it on the bench? Do you want to do it hanging up? Shouldn't really matter a whole lot. The only one I wasn't sure about was if I can mess with the mirrors after the glass is in. Um, these mirror holes are a little funky. Um, on the 70... Eights. Um, they move to these three bolt holes. I guess I don't have any. Um, basically, it's a three bolt hole right kind of after the, the front hinges. You can work through there and get at those. Um, they are a captive nut, uh, but they're kind of crooked. Um, I should have nibbled the one nut off. Um, so we'll see what we need to do there, but I can work through that opening just as well on the rig as I do. Here, uh, we'll see what I want to do. I did get some defender mirrors that are actually a two post. Um, so I'm debating whether or not to make an adapter and use these holes or just poke the third hole, which is kind of in between the T. I think if you ever put original mirrors on it, it would just cover the hole. Um, and these holes are crooked to begin with. Um, so it's kind of an unfortunate one. Um, 
I don't remember which door is more crooked. One of them is quite a bit off. It's off by like a quarter inch. Um, I was hoping they would kind of shuffle a little bit, but I think they're kind of stuck. Um, I may pop those nuts off. I don't think they're securely held all that well. Uh, that if you got on there with some grips, uh, you can probably pop them off. And the holes do have some, the nuts aren't in the center of the holes. So you got some wiggle room there that you might be able to shift it. Um, basically break those captive nuts off and then just reach through the back. Put the mirrors on that way. We'll see. I'll probably try and wiggle one of those and see if I can get her to pop. Um, at least on the door that's crooked. Um, I've got to go check out which one was funky. Um, I think it's this one. You can almost kind of see it there that this nut is lower than this nut compared to this this line. Basically they twisted it. Um, but the question is if you pop these three captives off can you rotate within those holes enough that you can get it square again? Because um, the holes are like an M6 but they drilled like a probably a 10. Um, so you got a little bit of slop there to work with that might be an option. Anywho, uh, game plan uh, is get the door cleaned up, get the weather strip on. This is the correct side. I think this one is slippery enough that I'm going to have to do it in parts. I don't know that I can wing it all the way around, so it's probably going to be get this top tacked on, um, get it set, get it clamped, um, and then work down one side, get it set, get it clamped, work down the other side, and then work around the bottom. Just because it's a little bit fiddlier and it doesn't sit as tight as those rear doors do, um, there's kind of a little bit more wiggliness that you got to contend with, that it's a little bit harder just to swing it on around and tack it. Um, it does fit between this, this lip and this lip, so there is a little bit of a guide, um, but it is definitely much squirrelier. Plus it's not a full circular gasket. They've got a seam in the bottom for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, it's just a little more fiddly that I think I'm going to do it in parts. Um, if you're working with two people, you might get away with swinging around around, but anyway, we'll make it happen. Uh, we'll get you guys in the rack and uh, get cleaning and get gluing. Weather strips on, glue's had a little bit of time to stick, had a few spots that needed to get clamped. Um, but hinges are ready to go, should be lined up pretty good. I did end up cutting one of the pins to fit the windshield. Hey! I did end up cutting one of the pins so we can drive her down from the top. Uh, kind of cleaned out the holes a little bit just to make sure they go in a little easier. Uh, should have a hammer somewhere around here. I'm going to put a few of the punches too. Yep. Uh, going to go snag the door though. Should be able to shoot around in there. Drop a couple pins in and should be pretty close.
Well, until we get a latch on there, not much we're going to do about it. Um, door seems to be sitting pretty good. Uh, our lines are still straight. Bottom is still good. Hopefully that weather strip will seat in enough that she'll close straight and square. But we won't know until we put the latches on, unfortunately. Well, there she is, all plopped on. A little bit of blue tape there. I um, did have to clean up a little bit along the top edge on this bottom row. Um, I was thinking that the that other lip would also get glued on, uh, so I didn't keep that line real straight. And basically, you got to keep that one pretty tight. Um, otherwise, the rest of it laid down pretty good, pretty clean. A um, little bit of touch up here and there. Uh, the more it dries, eventually you do have to use a little bit of acetone, and then kind of the rag and a stick trick. Um, but otherwise, it's starting to kind of work its way in. I didn't bang the hinges all the way in. Um, they're tight. They're in tops and bottoms. We'll kind of work the door in case it's got to come off for some odd reason. Um, might as well make it a little bit easier on myself. Otherwise, uh, where's my clock -a rooney It is 2.40. And I think what I may do is dunk this latch in. Um, I don't think there's any reason why I can't. I got to look at the other door. I'm going to take some pictures, pull him out, and then we should be able to start to get this guy clipped uh, so this weather seal can start to seat. Uh, the longer we can do that, the better. There's no real hurry to do the other door. Um, so I think that might, I got a hard stop in like an hour and a half. Uh, so what I might do is just work on that, see how long that takes. Um, and then prep for the other door tomorrow. Um, don't need to get the handle and stuff in, really just need to get that latch on and that striker. Um, and then we can kind of get her to click shut and hopefully it'll let that weather strip kind of tighten up a little bit. Um, so that's the plan. I'm gonna take some pictures of that door. We always have the other side as well for comparison. I do have the handle already loose on this side as well. This was the one that had the weird pocket. Um, but we should be able to start dunking a few things like that in and start working our way towards having stuff out of this door into this door. So. Onward. So this guy was loose from when I pulled this handle mechanism out a while ago. I needed it to fix those pockets on the door. I uh, managed to snake this guy out. He just tucks up against that chrome, chrome weather strip for the window. Um, not a lot to him. I do have a new piece of that felt that goes in there. Looks like he is going to need to get blasted and given a lick of paint though. It's a little crusty. Uh, that's the stuff that does slow you down a little bit um, is, you know, be able to get the door hung um, and hopefully get the latch on. But yeah, then the window mechanism I know is going to need a little bit of, a little bit of cleaning. So, Boop. there you go. Give him a click. It is easier to fit it through the door hole that way, it seems. Which way did I do that? Nope. before. There you go. And if I have to move him, I can.
Well, that's kind of what I figured. Um, so it's sitting pretty good here. The lower is popped out in this corner a little bit. Got some soap dangling. Um, that weather strip's really got to sit in in that corner. Um, it's pretty snug. Um, but hopefully as we get it over time, it'll seat. Um, the upper is also in a little bit, uh, but that's partly because we don't have that upper rail on. Um, so that's going to help balance out that lower because it's basically pushing out on the lower. So I'm pushing out on the lower and there's nothing balancing it out up top. Otherwise, this seal laid in pretty good. There is going to be a little bit of a funny spot where that tub, kind of another one of those fun, cool cruiser things, the, uh, the lip there isn't even. There's a step. Uh, looks like the softer OEM weather strip seats pretty well, but yeah, there, there's a little bit of a hump there. Um, I don't know if there's a lot I can do in this bottom corner right now other than try and bring her in and let it sit. Uh, I know the rear doors just sitting overnight are much, much easier to open close. They're still snug. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't do that yesterday. Um, so it does settle in over time, but at least we've got a door on. Oop and a door that closes, so that's a good thing. But yeah, that rear corner is definitely hanging out. Um, worst case, might be able to trim that weather strip back so it's not so thick. Um, Cause yeah, it's basically gotta come across and fold. Um, there's just a whole lot going on in that corner. Um, but, We'll keep an eye on it, I guess. Let it sit for a while, see if it uh, improves at all. Might wedge a glove up in the top as well, just to help balance that out. Um, we will see. So, gave the handle a quick buff. Tired of reaching through the door. Um, just a couple nuts inside, hold it in place. Gotta get her square. There's a little tab coming up. That's what you pull up on. That's what I was reaching in. Um, or push down on, I guess, sorry. Um, and there's a little tab that comes off the handle. Those two mate together. There's kind of some serrated grippy middles, so you can adjust that to where she meets right. Um, and then as you lift up on the handle, it'll pull, pull down, which will push down, open the door. Uh, so going to dunk those two little nuts back on and then try and get that one adjusted. Then hopefully we should be able to open the door from the outside without sticking our mitts through the window. <coughs> Excuse me. And then in here, it's just another 10 mil. Get these guys out of their own way. There we go. So he's gonna come up. I need more hands. This is a weird little system they got there. But yeah, there's a little peg, and then there's those teeth. Same deal. I think I'm going to need, well, we're going to do the cheater trick for now. Let's try and get that snugged. Yeah. Good. 
That can't be right. I'm going to go look at the other door. Yeah, it's hard to get you guys to where you can see anything there. So that is right. It does go up. It does push down like I thought. Uh, but why it's rubbing on the door, I don't know, other than things. I don't think you're going to get much out of that. It's got to go this way. That's a little better. I don't know what's going to work best for this guy. Maybe the ratchet? Hopefully that didn't put it back in a way that it shouldn't be. Like, well, let's see what we got. door that's closed and a door that's open and just because I was too curious um, so these are defender mirrors uh, off of like a defender 90 Land Rover um, obviously they're not made to fit but they do look kind of like the ones that Icon uses at quite a bit less price. Um, given we're already doing work, it was a good chance to see make those work. Um, so what I've been playing with a little bit, uh, this is just a sample, uh, making an adapter plate that'll go over, fit where the FJ40 style mirrors would go and kind of tucks in and picks these up. Uh, right now it's in white. Um, I'm going to print it in black probably. I don't know, the white matches the paint as well. So it could go either way. You can either do the white match the paint or the black match the mirror. All right, whatever. Um, but all in all, fits on there pretty good. Uh, looks a little bit nicer than kind of the stock mirrors, at least that came out of 76. They were kind of a weird stick with the round, round bit. Um, these just look a little bit cleaner, um, yet still not like a modern mirror. So it's kind of a nice balance. The Defender is kind of in the same family of fairly utilitarian rig. Um, so I have pretty good hopes that that'll work. I just wanted to see how the plate lined up. Um, either we're going to punch an extra hole in the middle and just use that plate to cover up the other holes, or we can poke two holes here and try and use the existing holes and drive some bolts through that way. Uh, you will need a thicker plate because um, you need to then tag this guy in from the back side. Um, it's kind of a weird little thing. So my hunch is I'm just going to poke the extra hole and deal with it because I don't think those are coming off. Um, but yeah, kind of a fun little aside while I had five minutes. Plus it is nice to take a look at some things because uh, now I can work on this guy a little bit more uh, and get some final ones printed out. Um, and then like those can be printing while I work because those do take probably a day or so to print. So anyway, fun little side side trip. Well, one of my oops. What are the odds of that? Well, kind of what I worried about came true. So this is the lock cylinder. It goes kind of like that, makes a U, follows the inside of the door. If you look at it, it's got a wide tab, a wide tab, a wide tab, and a skinny tab, and the skinny tab goes down. Well, this hole has a skinny hole, a skinny hole, a skinny hole, and a skinny hole. So that don't fit. Uh, there you can kind of see, maybe, kind of, sort of. Yeah, so that one is the right size. It fits in the bottom hole. The other three, nope. So I don't know what they were trying to fit there, but it ain't it. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do there. Luckily, it's, again, kind of hidden behind the lock. 
Um, you know, you've got a bit of a coverage lip there that you can deal with. It is pretty tight quarters. I think I'm probably going to have to take a file and whittle away on each side. It's not a ton, but it's probably uh, it's almost a sixteenth either way. Uh, so I got to do one, two, three, four, five, six, six of those. I got to nibble back. Um, so yeah, I'm going to chew away on that a little bit, then we'll touch it up, and hopefully we can dunk that guy in his home. Um, one of those things, kind of worried about that stuff. Um, at some point, you kind of assume they got their act together, that they're like cutting a hole. Like, why would you cut that hole? That doesn't fit anything reasonably close. But anyway, uh, going to trim that back, fit that in, and hopefully we can get a lock cylinder in and get the outside buttoned up. Get out of the way, cord. So gave her a quick little nibble there. And now she fits in the hole. Um, so minor, just one of those weird things where again, you just don't expect that kind of stuff. If you're gonna go through the trouble to make a part, make a part. Um, anyway, I'm uh, gonna touch that up so she doesn't rust. And then I'm going to see if I can figure something out for a gasket there. I, I believe they had one behind that. Um, but now, now i got to get it back out. And come on. Um, might try cutting one out. I'm going to see maybe if we can order one. Not sure. But we'll start with uh, trying to make one. See what we get. Well, I got her somewhere. So... 22 mil socket is about the same diameter radius, circumference, pick your favorite measurement, um, as that locking cylinder. So I'm just going to use that as a template. I started looking around for washers, you know, basically something round that matched, but then I realized trying to find the right one versus if you look in your socket set, they've got all the sizes millimeter by millimeter. So I should probably use my noggin, said to myself. So we'll see if we can nibble this guy out cleanly. And then we gotta figure out how to cut the inner part cleanly. That just might do. So I'm going to do the same trick. I'm going to go find which socket fits that inner. Boop a doop a doop. Everybody's favorite. 15 mil. That's pretty good. It's going to be a little more interesting because it's on the inside. Blink. It is a nice fall day out there, but I keep blowing the leaves in the garage. I would like to have the doors open. I've got to go get those leaves off the driveway so then when the wind's blowing, it's just not pushing leaves in the garage. I'm tired of sweeping leaf piles out of here. You know, it's just not a great use of your time. But it is kind of interesting. It is, uh, today's the 10th. I started tearing it apart November 4th. So, Basically, got a couple weeks to get the doors done, and then we'll be done within the year, which is kind of neat. Um, so, what do they have here? Basically, the top and bottom need to get nibbled out. Here, that guy goes all the way out, and here, 
Ooh, my speaker shut off. He goes all the way out. So two of them go all the way to the edge, or not all the way to the edge, but out further, and two of them are notched out for the locking tab. But we'll see if we can cut those out and still keep a reasonable gasket. It's definitely a little fiddly. But if the alternative is waiting five days to put the doors together, I'd rather just cut a gasket, provided it can look good. Boink! For garage scissors, these have been holding up fairly well. Uh, there's my lower, there's my upper. That's not too bad. Um, I'm tempted to do the uh, trim around and trick. So use the use the one you got. Kind of like cutting hair. I guess worst case I'll do what I just did and not do this last part. I don't like it. It's just rubber. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to go throw that in the door. Should be that way. Small notch on the lower. Let's slide this guy over and confirm. Yep. yep. So that should work. Let's go throw over the door and see what we got. This is definitely one of those projects that you would have guessed would be a little bit faster. But yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I might trim that top corner just a bit. Um, so there's just a little slidey clip it goes through and tags that guy. Hey, I can actually see through the top hole in the door. I know you guys can't. Nice. There it is. Snugged up. Sounds like a 40. And then, yeah, there's just one little bracket. It needs to get cleaned up a little bit. I gotta get some more av gas to clean things, degrease them and regrease them. Um, but he just goes in, tucks on the door, and goes between the key lock somewhere. One of them tucks to the key lock, one of them goes to the door mechanism, and one of them goes to the flippy flappy one on the door card. Um, but anyway, not gonna worry too much about that guy for now in case I gotta get my mitts in there for other things. Uh, but uh, otherwise got the outer outer stuff pretty much done, which is a nice milestone. Uh, I gotta obviously finish the mirrors, but I got a pretty good idea what we're gonna do there, which is nice. So I made some progress today. I'm uh, gonna probably clean up the shop, at least for the night, and then figure that out, and then we'll see. See how our weather strip sits in in the morning. It's starting to get a little bit better already. Um, but yeah, it is definitely uh, snug on the bottom. So we'll keep an eye on it. Well, I'll let it set overnight. Um, it's working its way in a little bit. Uh, I pulled my glove I had rammed in the top and it's still pretty good. Um, it is gonna take a little bit for that weather strip, I think, to seat, which is fine. Um, it was kind of similar with these kick vents. They wanted to sit out for a while till that weather strip sat in. Um, we'll keep an eye on it. 
Um, all in all, it's not too bad right now. Um, I think ideally I would pull in that striker a little bit in the middle, uh, but it's at the end of its travel. I don't know if you can nibble that at all. I don't think you can because it's those socketed screws. Um, but you'd probably pull in this middle of the door, which would bring in the top and the bottom. There's still a little bit of a swale in it um, where this guy's sitting level right now and he's out maybe a 16th and he's out maybe a 16th where if I could bring that in that little bit extra, um, the bottoms would fit, sit flush and the middle would be just maybe in a touch, you know, kind of cut your cutter in half. Um, but I can't bring it in anymore. It may slowly work in, like I say, as the weather strip kind of eases in because yeah the back door is definitely getting easier and easier as I as the days go by. Um, still definitely sounds like a 40 the old license plate clatter. I, I may put some foam behind there see if I can get that. Um, that is very typical. <laughs> I remember that sound very much. Um, and the uh, but otherwise front door is closed all right. Um, they also sound like a 40. My mirror only has one screw in it, so it wants to wobble on down. Um, but yeah, um, should be good to go to start cranking on the other side. Um, everything should be ready to go. I already cleaned up some of the stuff. Uh, so I'm going to kind of do the same thing again, I think. Dunk the door on, get it squared up without weather strip in there, and then pop the hinges back out. Um, they should come out fairly easy. I kind of cleaned out the hinge holes. Um, then we can uh, start working on the weather strip, get that kind of same deal, get the latches on, crank everything and get it popped on, um, get the outer handles. Um, so we'll probably, I don't know, we'll see what we film. Um, it's going to be basically the same thing on the other side. Um, it's just a repeat, um, but it'll be nice to get both doors on, both latching, and then we can work on window regulators. So that'll probably be the next interesting bit is figuring out the windows, but I just wanted to get both doors on to get them out of storage and get that weather strip seating. And then you can drive them without windows. You've been driving without a top. Um, so it gets it kind of back driving again too. Anywho, I'm going to get you guys in the rack. I'm going to go snag the door out of storage. Little 40 is going to sit here and wait and we'll start prepping that and then stripping parts, yada, yada, yada. Onward.
Driver's door is tucked on. Uh, weather strip went on pretty good. Obviously, second go around is a little easier. Um, definitely worked pretty good to do do the tape. Um, depending on where you are, you kind of either tape the outside or the inside. Basically, any of the top three sides, tape it in about an eighth inch and you'll be good to go. Um, you've got a pretty good window going in that you're not going to see a mess. On the bottom, it's the other way around. Um, kind of tape an eighth inch up from that lip. Um, because you'll kind of see an edge on the bottom. Um, down here, the weather strip doesn't sit tight or up against the metal on the bottom edge. Um, so you'll want to tape the top side so you don't see a bunch of garbage uh, looking down. There's a few spots on the other side that I did, didn't did catch it, and it made a little loop that I had to clean up. So the more you can kind of tape that upper edge on the bottom, you'll be good to go. Um, door lines are pretty good. Uh, same deal, though, um, as you push it in the bottom weather gasket is the, or weather strip is the tightest um, obviously there's nothing up top here there's a, a trim piece that needs to go on still um, I was kind of making sure everything was good to go before I button that on because that's a bit of a bugger to get out it clips on it kind of snaps in on both lips um, and to get it back out you're probably going to chip some paint um, so I was letting that ride for as long as I could um, but we'll have to snap that in pretty soon and then that'll help seat the upper weather strip and that'll balance out the lower weather strip. But otherwise, it seats in pretty good, I think, as long as you kind of pop it in, it'll be okay. Um, looks like we'll have to do the same trick of knocking out that lock hole. Um, they have all four matching, and they shouldn't. Um, otherwise, the rest of this should be good to go. Um, door hinges are nice and tight. Um, again, I didn't knock the pin, pins all the way down. Uh, just in case I got to pop it off or something doing glass and that that kind of jazz. Um, but that's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to have to drop in the latch, put the latch on the side. Um, and that'll help us get that weather strip seating again. Um, and really, um, nothing really stops you from driving it. You know, there's no door cards and there's no internal hardware, but that's fine. Um, at least it's you can take it for a trip around town still. Um, while the weather's still nice, um, it's not super warm out. Um, the window's real dirty, um, but still, roads are clean. You can take her for a rip. Um, I'm going to get to work cleaning up the hardware again, kind of same deal, repeat uh, lock mechanism, door handle, give it a buff, uh, get this degreased, cleaned up, and you should be able to get all that locking mechanism, door handle mechanism back in and get that door closing. And we should be in business. But yeah, everything sits pretty nice. Should be pretty squeak and rattle free. That'll be kind of interesting. She was always a little bit clankety clanky because um, the weather strip was pretty tired. If you look at the old doors, um, yeah, that weather strip was pretty well gone. Um, it served its life. It was the original stuff from 76. Uh, but yeah, the door definitely sounds sounds like it used to. Um, you do get a little bit of a wobble in the bottom when you close it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. Um, there's a little bit of a... I don't know if that, yeah, there it goes. Um, but I would wager that's very similar to the factory doors. They have these big foam blocks in there, so I'm going to have to find something. They're glued in, so I ain't getting those out. Uh, but they're just styrofoam, basically to give some support to that door. I don't think they're anywhere else. Um, so we'll have to just cut, carve some out of some... See if I got any shipping fire styrofoam or anything like that. And probably do the same, wedge them in the bottom. It just gives some support to that skin so she doesn't have quite as much bounce. Um, pretty minor, uh, but it should help. But yeah, that one's starting to settle in uh, pretty good there. Uh, she'll need some tuning, but um, anyway, losing daylight. I'm going to start cleaning up that hardware, start jamming it in the door, and hopefully we'll have two closing doors by the end of the night. Well... Fast forward a little bit, chipped away this morning. Uh, didn't set up the camera and stuff. I uh, was supposed to have the internet provider come and do a service install. Had a scheduled appointment from eight to 10. Nobody showed up. Uh, one of the, <laughs> you, you can't really make that stuff up. It's just a funny stereotype. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so, cause I figured they were coming. I didn't bother to set up the garage and all that stuff, but I did poke away at things while I was wasting time. Um, did get the Defender mirrors on. Um, I ended up putting the body colored adapter plates on. I 
just a little less conspicuous. Um, I did end up picking up some different glass for these. These are both the, I didn't know when I ordered them, uh, but they're both the convex glass, uh, which is kind of annoying. Um, they did not specify that when I ordered them and they've been sitting on the shelf for a while. Uh, but you can just get replacement glass for the heads. Um, so we'll just swap that out, put some flat glass in. It'll be a little bit easier to drive around. It's a little bit weird. I could tolerate this side. Uh, the one that's weird is the driver's side is convex as well, which is really funky. Uh, you know, most vehicles have it on this side, but it's at least flat on the driver's side. To have it on both is definitely weird. Um, but anyway, I uh, got those on on both sides. They're snugged up. Um, the other interesting thing on these defender mirrors, by the way, um, is they have detent. So actually you could run them forward a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if it looks too goofy. It is nice because it brings them in. They don't stick out quite so far. Um, but the, the sight line down past the hard top is a little bit better when they're out. Um, the other one, in case anybody ever looks at these, um, they are kind of handy as they do fold in for storage. Um, if you got her in a tight spot. Uh, so they're kind of a nice little not stock, but not obnoxious mirror. Um, but anyway, um, another one of those ones where we were chipping away, uh, put the upper sill in. I don't know what you'd call that. It just clips in and then there's three bolts on the inside. You can kind of see them on the other side. Same deal, rubs on the, the weather strip. Um, and the other thing I did while I was killing time was put these limiters. They've got a little detent that holds the door open and keeps you from banging it into the fender. Uh, figured that would be handy when I'm working on the, the glass, um, that when you're pushing it in, you're not worried about banging it into the fender. Uh, but those are both in, um, so that's kind of nice. Um, I did get these parts sandblasted. Um, I think probably saw that on the other part, but they're sitting there. Ooh, got my door greasy. Um, Otherwise, same thing on this side. Um, sill is in, limiters in, and did throw the uh, emissions non-catalyst sticker on there. Never know, and when you may need that in the future, that it does didn't come with a catalytic converter. Um, but otherwise, weather strip seems to fit pretty good. Um, it's going to take a little bit to bed in. Um, and you can see that it sits a little different. A little different in the back corner. On um, the other side, there is a little tiny pinhole of a gap in this corner, uh, but they do have little packing things that go up in that front corner um, that I haven't dunked in there yet, um, but I, I will. Um, oh, I've got all the weather strip out, so that's all ready to go. Um, should have everything I need, and somehow I accidentally ordered or actually, I think I need all four of these. One for the front and one for the back. So these go inside the door, front and back on each side, down inside the pocket. Uh, these go around the hoop. Um, the old ones were chrome. They don't really make those anymore, so now it's just a softer one, which is fine. Um, the chrome didn't necessarily always sit real well, uh, but they do still make the chrome felts that go across the sill where your elbow would go. Um, so that's all ready to go. Uh, doors are all, should be all ready to go. Um, kind of working through prep. Uh, one of the first things I think we'll do though, before we get our glass in, throw a little dynamite in. Um, it doesn't hurt anything. Plenty of room to do it. And it'll help just kind of avoid a little bit of the, uh, kind of drummy sound that you get on these big flat panels. Um, they do have a little bit of bounce flex. It'll help kind of stiffen those up. Uh, the other thing I did play around a little bit with, uh, the original doors. Uh, you can kind of see it in there. She's dirty. The other one's a little better, um, or a little easier to see. They did have some styrofoam blocks kind of in the bottom. Again, kind of to help that drumminess of the door. Uh, so worked with some of the stuff I had. You can't really get those out without just destroying them anyway. So started whittling down some blocks to dunk in there as well. Again, kind of just stiffens up the door a little bit and helps avoid some of that flex on the outer panel. Um, you can tell it helps a little bit already and they're just kind of tucked in there. They're not really wedged tight or 
glued in. Um, the door is sitting in a little bit better. Um, the top is adjusted pretty good, the middle is adjusted. It could come in a little bit, um, but I'm out of, out of adjusting on my striker. This lower lip, this corner right here, basically wants to stick out more than it should. Eh, and give it a wedge. Um, it may slowly work in, um, but for I'd rather have this up here sit nice um, and deal with a little bit sticking out here for now than the other way around. We'll keep an eye on it. Um, it's one of those things. That is the door that was problematic to begin with. Um, if you, a couple of videos back, uh, we had to kind of take it had a it had a bow in it, and we got a lot of it out. Um, I think there was a little bit left, and when I was doing the test fitting, I think I could bring the door in further. So basically, this would sit in a little bit more, which brought this flush. Um, and like I say, I can't get the striker plate to come in any further. I may, uh, well, I make a striker plate for the other side, just make one for this side too and work on sucking this door in. Uh, but we'll let it ride for now. It's not enough that you're gonna, it's nothing that's worth losing yourself over. This side sits a little better, uh, sits pretty even here um, and sits pretty, pretty even on the bottom. It does sit out a little bit, kind of like the other side, um, but it'll do anyway. Well, that's where we're probably going to leave that one for today. Uh, with a little bit of work in the doors. Those front doors take a little bit more than the rears. Um, so this one ran running a little bit long. Um, still plenty left to do to get the, uh, the guts back inside. So I think that's where we're going to cut this here. We'll pick that up next time as far as getting the window regulators and uh, weather stripping and stuff back in. Um, like I say, definitely a little more work than the, uh, the old rears. Those doors are a little simpler. Um, so we'll pick up there, but otherwise, thanks for riding along, uh, getting close to the end around the home stretch. Catch you on the next one.